Hey there, I'm Sam Anderson, the lead designer on Project Shasta. Project Shasta is a web-based audio tool for recording and editing spoken audio, like podcasts or voiceovers. We use AI to make sure it sounds as good as possible, and I'm going to show it to you today through creating the start of a new podcast. Before we start, we're going to go to mic check. We can use mic check to make sure that our recording setup is sounding as crystal clear as possible before we start recording. I've already done this, and you can see my results here for each of these meters. It measures distance to microphone as well as background noise. It's trained on thousands of hours of microphone data. As you can see, I've got my green check marks in each of the sweet spots. So I'm ready to start recording. So let's go back to Project Shasta. Here are some other projects I've created as well as some templates. But we're going to create a new blank project. We'll call it Sonic Fluorescence, the name of my new podcast. And when I'm ready, we can start recording. Here we go. Humans make noise. Living in New York City, these sounds surround me. There's a beauty to the sound of human presence. Uncover the stories beyond these sounds with me on Sonic Fluorescence. Sweet, I can stop that recording. It'll upload and transcribe everything we said. I can play back the beginning for you. Here we go. Humans make noise. Nice. I'm actually going to delete that. Here we go. We don't want that in there. I'm going to record uh, part of this podcast with my friend, Caitlin. So I'll invite her now and paste in her email. And when she opens up the project, we will be able to talk live with one another. And there she is. Hey, Caitlin. Hey, Sam. Well, thanks for being a guest on my new podcast. I'm going to start recording now. So earlier, you told me you had a very unusual commute this morning. Can you tell me that story again? Yeah, so I was waiting for the Q train as usual when my AirPods died. Um, so I was forced to actually listen to my surroundings, and that's when I started to hear something really weird. Whoa, I want to hear the rest of that story, but I have to finish this walkthrough. We'll finish this later. Yeah, no problem. Thanks for having me. See ya. Bye. After finishing the recording and Caitlin leaving, Project Shasta uploaded and transcribed all of that audio. I'm going to clean it up a little bit, delete some unnecessary parts. And as I'm listening back to it, I'm noticing that the audio could use some improvement. Uh, Caitlin is in a very different environment, and our microphones sound very different from each other. And I'm wondering if I can spruce that up. So I can go to the filters over here on the right. And in here, there is an enhanced speech filter. Now, before I turn this on, I'm just going to play Caitlin's audio a little bit for you again so we can hear the difference. Yeah, so I was waiting for the Q train as usual when my AirPods died. And now I'll turn it on and we'll listen again. Yeah, so I was waiting for the Q train as usual when my AirPods died. Insane. We have some other filters here too coming soon, like the filler word removal take out all of your ums and uhs, as well as 3D audio, which will spatialize and make all of your audio super immersive. Because my conversation with Caitlin isn't done, I'm going to add a placeholder to the end of the project. This will let me continue working on the intro and the outro without being done with the recording. I can always replace this placeholder with audio later. Now, speaking of intros, we worked with some stellar music producers to assemble some music themes that you can download and bring into your projects. There's a number of different types of sounds and pieces of music. I'm going to bring in one of these and use it for my intro. And let's listen back to this. On Sonic Fluorescence. Sounds good. If I wanted, I could set that music to play in the background, but I'm going to leave it like that. I like how it sounds. Lastly, I want to show you the power of templates. So I could make a template out of my intro statement and my music, add a placeholder for the bulk of my content, and then when Sonic Fluorescence episode 1, 2, 3, 
4 come around, I can use that same template and just replace the main content. But you can also use templates in a really fun social way by sharing it with other people. Then other people can take that template and replace parts of it with their own content. They're really fun and we can't wait to see how all of you use placeholders and templates together. So that's Project Shasta. And we're still part of Adobe Labs, so we're really looking forward to your feedback to help make it better. If you have feedback to share, just record it right into Project Shasta, go up to that share menu, and there's a button right there that will send your project to us as feedback. We really can't wait to see what all of you create with Project Shasta. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you later. Bye.